we, the successors of a country and a time where a skinny black girl descended from slaves and raised by a single mother can dream of becoming president only to find herself reciting for one. What was really emotional for me and um, sort of effective was the poem of Amanda Gorman when um, Joe Biden became the president in the inauguration ceremony. I remember watching the ceremony with my wife and kids and we got into this kind of a routine of seeing it, okay, that has been before, this has been, and then the last thing was this poem. And we thought almost to turn off the TV, but we kept going and I could not stop listening and being really impacted by, by her vision, by the words and the way she delivered it. And I thought, what if we write a piece for Mount Vernon Virtuosi cello gang that we will learn here at the foundation and John would write it. So an African-American composer would write a piece for us, students from all over the world and me being American but uh, living here, but I was born in Israel. So this mishmash of everything uh, which really represent this country, and then have Amanda Gorman's voice recited while we're playing this piece. And yes, we are far from polished, far from pristine, but that doesn't mean we are striving to form a union that is perfect. We are striving to forge our union with purpose to compose a country committed to all cultures, colors, characters, and conditions of man. And so we lift our gaze not to what stands between us, but what stands between us.